We're all trying to stay in good health these days, and a UT Health research team is announcing what's considered a groundbreaking discovery that could affect many illnesses and even the opioid epidemic. They think they have found the connection between high fats and pain and inflammation. Ursula Perry reports they suggest you could cure your pain through your diet, not a pill. Treating pain is why most of us go to the doctor, but researchers at UT Health San Antonio say maybe a trip to the grocery store could be your next best step. A team of researchers headed up by Dr. Kevin Hargreaves at UT Health Dental School found reducing your intake of foods with omega-6 type fats might be your best medicine. We enrich the diet with the healthy omega-3 lipids. We relieve pain due to both inflammation and we relieve pain due to neuropathies. So we, we think it's a broad effect. Omega-3s are found in tuna, broccoli, spinach, flaxseed, and mangoes. But our diets tend to contain lots of omega-6 lipids, foods like onion rings, french fries, cakes, and other processed foods. The research team has been working on the sources of pain for 10 years now, and they have found a clear connection with that diet and pain. So those who have more of the unhealthy omega-6 lipids actually have more pain. Um, and those with more of the lipids actually are the ones that need more painkillers, more analgesic drugs because they have so much pain. Taken in reverse, those with less omega-6 fatty acids in their blood have less pain. That's what we found. And in, in, in mice with, with diabetic neuropathy, we can literally cure diabetic neuropathy in mice just by changing their diet. The research is expected to play a role with chronic pain patients just by changing their diet. It also could be used in creating new drugs that could block those unhealthy fatty acids from the bloodstream. And one more thing it could be used for, it could move the needle in the opioid crisis by reducing the need for painkillers after surgery. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.